narrated by Asma bint Abu Bakr. I used to carry the date stones on my head from the land of Az-Zubair which Allah's messenger peace be upon him had given to him, and it was at a distance of two-thirds of a farsakh from my house. Narrated Hisham's father, the Prophet peace be upon him gave Az-Zubair a piece of land from the property of Bani and Nader, gained as war booty. Narrated by Ibn Umar Umar bin al-Khattab expelled all the Jews and Christians from the land of Hijaz. Allah's messenger peace be upon him after conquering Kaibar, thought of expelling the Jews from the land which, after he conquered it belonged to Allah, Allah's messenger peace be upon him and the Muslims. But the Jews requested Allah's messenger peace be upon him to leave them there on the condition that they would do the labor and get half of the fruits, the land would yield. Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, we shall keep you on these terms as long as we wish. Thus they stayed till the time of Umar's caliphate when he expelled them to Tama and Ariha. Narrated by Abdullah bin Mughafal While we were besieging the fort of Kaibar, a person threw a leather container containing fat, and I ran to take it, but when I turned I saw the Prophet, standing behind, so I felt embarrassed in front of him. Narrated by Ibn Umar In our holy battles, we used to get honey and grapes, as war booty which we would eat and would not store. Narrated by Ibn Abu Alpha. We were afflicted with hunger during the besiege of Kaibar, and when it was the day of the battle of Kaibar, we slaughtered the donkeys and when the pots got boiling with their meat. Allah's apostle made an announcement that all the pots should be upset and that nobody should eat anything of the meat of the donkeys. We thought that the Prophet peace be upon him prohibited that because the kumis had not been taken out of the booty, i.e. donkeys, other people said, he prohibited eating them forever. The sub-narrator added, I ask Saeed bin Jubair who said, he has made the eating of donkeys meat illegal forever.